What's going on guys? Welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for clicking into this video. If you're new around here you like what I do, then please do smash that subscribe button because it's time to talk about WWE Bad Blood 2024. And where do we start? We start with one of the best matches of the year. We start with one of the best Hell in a Cell matches of all time. That's right. In my opinion, it's right up where with the likes of Foley and Undertaker. It's in that conversation. It really is. The story heading into it was brilliant. The feud was brilliant. Okay, they could have left the stuff with a bracelet at home. Wasn't a big fan of all of that. But overall, this has been really, really good. A really good story. The first few back for CM Punk and Drew McIntyre. They've knocked it out of the park. And they did it here tonight. What a match. They promised blood. And they delivered blood. Shit tons of it. Drew McIntyre was absolutely pissing claret. The toolbox shot to the head, splits him open, and it's just pouring down his face. The referee tries to get the towel in, and fans are booing, and he's throwing the towel away. Get the towels out the fucking way. We want to see the blood. It's what we want. We're, we're, we're extreme. We're sadomasochists. We want that stuff. That's what we love. It was brilliant. A great way to end the feud. A great match. A great Hell in a Cell. This is what Hell in a Cell is meant to be. Not a silly coloured red cell with shitty little tools in underneath the ring. Loads of kendo sticks. No, that's not what we want. We want this. We want a toolbox with actual fucking weapons in it. They were fucking using hammers. They were using wrenches. They were using screwdrivers. They were beating the shit out of each other. Yeah, they got a table out and that table spot was absolutely sickening. Their suplex off the, off the turnbuckle. Punk lands hard on the table. So does Drew. But the hardest moment of all, the sickening moment of all, was right at the end. Drew McIntyre going for a claymore. And he lands, lands sorry, tailbone first on the edge of the steps. Ow! Ooh, he's going to be sitting on one of those cushions for a couple of days, isn't he? Oh, he's not going to be able to sit down for a while. That must have stung. CM Punk now wins the feud, ends the feud, slams the cage, the door on the feud, and leaves. Barely is able to leave. The victor, um, and he collapses in the entranceway and needs medical assistance and a little bit of oxygen to get out of there. But yeah, great feud, great match, and who can follow that? Nia Jax versus Bailey. That's who follows it, and this has to be one of the most hilarious matches of all time. <laughs> she tries to do a hurricane runner off the top rope. Why, why, why are you attempting that? The botches in this match. I mean, Botcher Mania must have been licking their lips watching this. My God, the sunset flip bomb into the corner and Nia just sits on Bailey. Oh, my days. And Tiffy comes up. People are chanting for Tiffy for the entire match because this match was dreadful. Let's have it right. This match was fucking shocking. It was that bad. It was so hilarious. Other than that, yeah, yeah, this this one was dreadful. Here comes Tiffy to save the day and save the match, basically. This girl should be champion. She's the best one they've got at the moment. Bailey is just stale. Nia Jax is all right as a heel monster, but yeah. The sooner the better. The sooner the better. They get that title on Tiffy. Yeah, it'd be all good. Damian Priest versus Finn Bella felt like it should have been a match on Raw. Um, the feud was okay, but did anyone really care? Damien Priest is back to being a baby face again. I, 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 ain't, I ain't feeling that. Rhea Ripley versus Liv Morgan was okay. Dominic Mysterio was the highlight of the match in the cage. And when he fell out of it and he's hanging there like a piñata. But here comes Rhea again to abuse him again. Female or male violence. If we saw it the other way around as well, I'd be happy for it. But we don't. We always see the women beating the shit out of the men. Why? Why is that allowed but the other way it's not? It's not okay for the men to hit the women, but it's okay for the women to hit the men. Double fucking standards. I don't like it. What I didn't like is Raquel Rodriguez coming back at the end and absolutely ruining this match. Uh, she attacks her um, Rhea Ripley on the outside, throws her back in the ring and puts Liv Morgan on top of her. The bell's already rung, love. You've already got Liv Morgan DQ'd. You could have had the referee dis uh, distracted by Dominic. Rhea gets back in the ring and then Raquel Rodriguez attacks. Liv Morgan gets the pin. One, two, three. She's still the chump. But yeah, you botch it up there. And then we get the tag team match at the end. Cody Rose versus Roman Reigns. And I'm sick of Cody Rose as a champion already. I think a lot of people are. They want Roman back. They want Roman back. Remember chanting, we want Roman. It weren't at Solo. It was at Cody. 
You've sucked so far as champion, mate. Let's have it right. Your story wasn't that great. What's going on now? Roman Reigns was fantastic, but the start of this match, and everyone knows it, was Jacob Fatu. He is the true leader. He is the one. He is the breakout star of this new bloodline group. The sooner we realise that, the better. He was fantastic in this match. He really was. Star of the match. Um, the, the ending was pretty damn good. I'll give him that. The return of Jimmy Uso costing Solo and Jacob the match. And hugs for Roman, the old bloodline are returning. Would have been cool. I know Jay wasn't on the show. But we did see him earlier in the box. Like they had a private box. They were having a party up there. Why not pan to him and he's standing there like watching the match. Watching the end, just standing there with his title, with the IC title, just standing there looking down at them, being like, okay, you're back together. You know? Just giving some sort of acknowledgement that he's, he's watching it, he's seeing it, and we know that this where this is going, this is going to war games, this is going to OG bloodline versus the new bloodline. It's going to happen, but then, but then, the end. The music. I didn't. It's no one saw this coming. The music hits. It feels smell. That's right. The Rock, the final boss, comes out. Of course he does. One, two, three. He counts him in the ring. Slits the neck. You know what that means. He's coming for you, Roman. He is coming for you. Let's see where this goes. It's got to be. It can't be Cody versus the Rock at WrestleMania. No, no, no. Do that at Royal Rumble. Do that somewhere else. We have to have the match all fans have been clamouring for. For years we've been asking for this. Years we've been asking for the tribal chief, the head of the table. Roman Reigns going one-on-one -on -one with the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. The final boss. The people's champion. The Rock. Has to happen. Has to happen at WrestleMania. Biggest match of all time. Box office draw. Make it happen. Make it happen, Triple H. Thanks for watching, everyone. Smash that subscribe button if you've watched this far. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time.